Yeah, and it is late fall. Still a few leaves around, but we're going to go in and show you all about Grandfather Mountain and see all that it has to offer the Mile High Bridge. So we're looking forward to it. Yes, come on with us. Let's go. How are you? Good. Shop. Get all your goodies here. Get snacks, t shirts. Isn't that neat? Let's try this one. This is a stairs to the bridge. They do have an elevator to the bridge, so I'm assuming that it is handicap accessible. And yes, face coverings required. So we're here at the bridge. Telling you what to avoid. That's what's holding us up here. Justin, right up through this little, over the bridge. <laughs> what do you think about this? It's crazy. It's cool and foggy. Yeah. I'm gonna get my glasses on so I can see. Okay, so this thing is moving. It is swinging, isn't it? Yes. Trees right there. I'm sure this would be beautiful if it wasn't cloudy. Definitely swinging. We just photo bombed them, I think. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, on this side of the bridge, a big old rock you can climb out on. Look at that. You can't even see the other side. No. It's completely gone with the fog. <laughs> Sun says Grandfather Mountain, North Carolina, Mile High Swinging Bridge, elevation 5,278. 
Let me get down first. You made it. This is kind of neat through here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Be careful, it's probably slick. I told her that and I'll probably fall down. We are a pie, aren't we? Mm-hmm, we are. We are rock climbing at the end of the mile high bridge. You back there? Yes. Look at that, it's just straight off. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't want to bring your small children out this far. Because somebody probably did that when they were just married and had a daughter, didn't they? We had a daughter and a son, but... Oh, was Caleb born? Yeah, I was holding him back there while you... I was holding Caleb, he was little, watching you come out here. <laughs> I brought Megan out here, didn't I? Mm hmm She liked it, but she was scared. All right, this is as far as you can go. But you can't see, there's no view up there. So no point in going on. In my opinion. <laughs> no point in going any further? No. If you can't see anything but this, I'm not going on. <laughs> What'd you say? Your hair's damp from the mist? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's wet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll head back. Cross back across the... You're going the hard way. see what do you see down there it's a long ways down there look at that you can't believe it's like right there the breeze mm -hmm. picked up yeah I mean it's, it's coming right through this valley you can't see and this goes right on down through there this feels like Halloween or something <laughs> <laughs> that tells you we are one mile, 5,280 feet. Right here on the bridge. There's somebody sitting all the way down there. See him? Well, we made it back across. It's one last look at the bridge. You should come, it's a lot of fun. I don't know how you would ever know whether you were gonna have a clear day or not. Yeah, because we were just talking the last time we were here, a long time ago, it was a beautiful clear day. <laughs> yeah, it was. Obviously, on a clear day, I'm not sure how far you can see, but for 25 cents, you can see 
East Blowing Rock, McCray Peak, Sugar Mountain, Hump Mountain, Rome Mountain, Mount Mitchell, Short Off Mountain, Table Rock, and Hawksbill. It'd be a nice place to have a picnic. Just come out here and sit down, and, wouldn't it? Yeah, we know what to, we know how to have picnics on rocks, don't we? Yes, we do. Make the best of it wherever you go. But that's really neat, isn't it? Okay, so here's the brochure. I'll show you right here. We're here at the top shop now. You can see they got hiking trails over here. There's this bridge. And the picnic areas. The nature museum and restaurant. And the animal habitats. More picnic areas. Yeah, they give this to you when you come in the gate. Okay, if you're interested in trails, here you go, Grandfather Trail. You get trail maps. Gives you the distance. And you gotta have a permit, but the main thing is you gotta return to your vehicle by five. And there's where your trail starts, look at that. I was going to say, this first half mile is the steepest part, and I'm like, you think? I don't know if this camera shows just how steep that is. Crazy. Anyway. We are back down off the mountain a little bit, and we're at the Grandfather Mountain Nature Museum, and there's also an animal habitat we're going to check out. Mildred the Bear, environmental habitat. We'll catch that. Nice pictures. I think the Junior Rangers here. Looks like some of this is in progress. Oh look. The old black bear. Burl from a black birch, whatever that Burl, means. Burl from black birch are found in the forest in the Grandfather Mountain area. It's a plant tumor caused by soil-borne bacterium. Look at that thing, that's huge. We missed dinner here, didn't we? Yes. Oh, you can get snacks now. Yeah, they just serve hamburgers and stuff until four. But why do you check this out? Look how big this is. Look at that. So there's a fudge shop down here. Just a little walk through the mountains here. Grandfather Mountain. Here's the fudge shop. They close at five. The rock is that way. Animal habitat entrance. So we have a North American elk. <laughs> there, there's your elk. And there's some more way down, I'm not sure you can see them. Against the fence. Look like they got it made up here, don't they? It's a really neat habitat. There's elk facts. It can live 10 to 15 years in the wild, up to 20 years in captivity. Each elk, they reach full size around four years of age. The male bull 700 pounds, calf 35, female 500. There's your elk in the east, southern Appalachian.
You see him? Mm -hmm. I don't see no river otter. Yeah, so you get eagles and bears this way. I don't know what's down this way. I guess a cougar. I mean a cougar. I don't see it down there. Would you like to meet that the mountains hiking? Not me. Wow, that handle has all the stuff on it. This is the eagles. Beautiful bird. Look at that. Gorgeous. They're just so majestic. Okay, bears to the right. They do not feed. Look at this. What a great habitat here. Over the ball. <laughs> Look at that fat. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Cool, isn't it? Yeah, neat. It's really nice up here. Okay, so we're going to check Karen's wingspan. Here is the bald eagle. It can range from six to seven and a half feet. So let's see what. Start down there on the zero. You are five and a half. Now we're going to do Mike's wingspan. Okay. Almost. You're almost at the six, yeah. Almost. <laughs> I just can't believe it. it's gorgeous in here. Yeah. I mean, this little nature habitat, wildlife habitat, is so neat, isn't it? Yes. It's a split rock on the left and Fink's rock right there. Here's a picnic area, woods walk, nature trail. Look how pretty this overlook is, gorgeous. Oh man. And there's no fog. <laughs> Look at that, we better get out. Look at this. Mm -hmm.
there's the condos. I'm pretty sure that's on top of Sugar Mountain. I don't know, I guess that's the back side of it. Fall is slowly giving way to winter. Here, high up, you can see the leaves are few are barely hanging on. Of course, we're still up at about 4,000, 3,500, something like that. Well, that's our little visit to Grandfather Mountain here in North Carolina. And wow, what about those bears? Yes, they're so big. The fat and their paws are huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's been a, um, a fun day. And somebody said it'd probably take two to three hours to see everything. Um, we just kind of wish that the fog hadn't rolled in, but mm -hmm. you know, you, I don't know, I was talking to some of the people up there and I overheard them say, You never know yeah, what yeah. any day's gonna be like. Yeah, it changes from hour to hour sometimes, so. Yeah. But anyway, we're. Um, Still had a great time. Yeah, we need to have a good time and uh, I'm glad you guys came along. So we're Fridays. Forever. And don't forget to subscribe. If you like adventures, East Tennessee and the Great Smoky Mountains and Western North Carolina, and you never know what we're gonna get into. Yeah. If you like those, make sure and hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon. It'll tell you whenever we've got um, a new video that's coming yeah. out. We'd love to have you join us for every adventure. Yep. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.